So now that we have covered the motion of the ball, the dragging of the paddle and the ball bouncing off the walls, the only thing that's left to do is make the ball bounce off the paddle as well. This is quite simple and all we need to do is go to the ball and then drag this ball collided with and then this change this other to paddle. Now make sure that you put in whatever the name of the paddle, the exact name of the paddle that you have put in. So since I had named my paddle like this, all lowercase, that's why I added paddle over here. So once we have this, the way we are going to make the ball bounce of the paddle is just make it, just change its heading value. So as you can recall, the, he the value of a heading value of a sprite dictates which way the sprite is moving. So if it is zero, the sprite is going towards the right. If it is 90, the sprite is going towards the top. If it is 180, the sprite is going towards left. And if it is 270, the sprite is go going downwards. So all we want to do is change the heading value somehow based on the current heading value. So if the current heading value, let's say, was 270, which meant the ball was going downwards. So if the current heading value was 270, we wanted to change it to 90. If it was going straight down, once it hits the paddle, it should go straight up. So in order to do that, you again go back to ball, drag the set ball heading to this will be a subtraction. Now your current heading value of the ball that will be given by ball.heading. So now you need to figure out what value goes in over here such that whatever the current heading value is, the ball will have to go in the reverse of that heading. And then you need to plug in this value over here to make the ball bounce of the paddle as well.